So automotive industry is definitely heading towards revolutionizing itself, changing itself with the big help of uh, electronics. And this electronics right now, which was originally in the form of only sensors, actuator and ECUs, are now getting extended in terms of the cloud, cloud uh, computing, uh, deep learning, adaptive learning, and a lot of sharing platforms. And this sharing platform will not only enable the existing player of the tier one, tier two category, but it will open up space, space for those which are completely new in this space, which are coming out of from the traditional mobile industry, traditional software industry, and they will have a possibility to put up their platform-based application, which are dedicated for some specific single purpose use, and that will give enhanced experience to the user. These applications might come at free of cost because there will be a secondary form of data monetization, and that will enable not only user, but also the secondary players to create new business opportunities on it. Regarding challenges, um, naturally the security of the data would be a challenge. Country like India where things cannot be so easily regulated and monitored and therefore challenge will remain and therefore we need to cautiously walk on this path. Additionally, when we look into the trend of e-mobility, a uh, lot of things are happening. Uh, but uh, we need to be most sensitive and careful towards the import because if our import bill and import dependability on the other countries which are not so friendly to us if it remains at a very high level then we might have a big threat towards our growth and self-reliance and therefore whether it is the lithium based so we need to find an import substitute whether it is a permanent magnet for the motor or in the area of semiconductor, because you will be surprised to know, today there are only three to four semiconductor industry giant who determines how many devices which OEM gets and their supplier get, and they regulate how many cars you can produce. And this can go very dangerous for India if we do not install self-reliance-based semiconductor industry in locally in India.